Good day, everyone. Owen Azuris here. We are playing some more Serlum Ultimate. Going to look at my new creature that I created for my Hell Knight. Probably do a level or two, play all the mini games in the game, and then look at my resource chalice that I have finally completed. A bit of housekeeping while we get started here. Let me go ahead and continue. Uh, this is being posted on Sunday. You know, usually on Saturday I post a roguelike video. If you look, it doesn't look like I posted one, but that's because the one I posted actually had some sort of weird issue. I was playing Tangle Deep, where they have a new Ronin mode, and it's pretty fun, and I recorded about 45 minutes, but for some reason, after uploading it, I don't know what happened to the video. It seemed to glitch or something, because it's just showing the basic load screen that never changes the video formatting. I couldn't get it back, so I'm going to have to re-record that, and then I'll have to repost it. And it'll be a different playthrough because, of course, A, we're doing roguelikes here, and Tangle Deep is definitely a roguelike, and B, the class itself, the Ronin class, actually goes and changes based on what you... It's, it's randomly generated as well, so I'll never be able to get that class back. Hopefully I don't have that issue here today. So we got my castle here, my queen up here. I made like a little throne room here. And then I went and brought my blacksmith, enchantress, or sorcerer. What is she? I don't know, but the spellcrafter over here. Kind of have my throne room where I can see my massive chalice here. Get most of the other stuff the same. I'm probably going to rearrange some stuff as the mood strikes me. I intend this to become... I don't know, I'm going to make like an art gallery here. Once I get some more art, I'll put in those stuffed animals I'm getting. And then other stuff as I unlock it. Maybe chairs and stuff like that. Got my little drunk demon down here, drunk devil. Tavern bard that'll play songs for booze, apparently. And I'm going to play Serumopoly last. So I got tokens for all these games. Let us do a scratch card. Uh, three more. Oh, I want a hundred. It doesn't matter what I pick. Oh, because I got two. I got two hundred notoriety. Ooh, I got a lot of nice stuff here, actually. And let's see. You are Serlum Slots. Got an achievement for that. Now, there are 140 achievements currently in the game. I don't know if they're going to be able to add all the different achievements in the game, because there are there are a lot. I don't know if Steam will allow them to add all, but they have some plans in place for it, it sounds like. I know the creator said they're going to put in the main achievements, and they might do something for the percentage of achievements you get done in the game. You'll get, like, a different like achievements, so if you do like 5% achievements, you get one achievement when you hit 6%, or maybe you'll do like by 5%, so I thought that was a pretty unique idea. Because someday, in Serial Number 3, oh, I got a slot machine of fishing out of I want to get all the achievements, but I don't think that's ever going to happen. And let's play some Kino! Pick that... I think someone calculated the odds of winning this and, like, getting all 15 right, and they were pretty high. Would probably have a better chance of winning the actual lottery. Whoops. Yeah, like that. Okay, not too bad a pick. Enchantment. Browse the wares here. So I can actually go and start getting some bottles of these things. Ah, yeah, let's play some Serumopoly. So I actually like the board they have in this. I mean, all you're doing is rolling around. I wish there was a little more to this particular mini game. And honestly, if people are watching, there's actually a game called Cold Sep, where it's kind of like a cross between Monopoly and Magic the Gathering. It's a really good game, and I would love to see someone kind of do something with it, like make a new version of it. They haven't made a new version in a long time. 
Oh well, I hit the... Normally that would be the jail, but... It just gives me lots of stuff. So Serumopoly is usually where I'm going to get most of my stuff. I'm having a really good run of Serumopoly today. Yeah, it's going to be granite, yeah. Come on, two. And more notoriety is always appreciated. Come on, more turns. What happens if I hit four? I wonder where that space is. Oh, two would be nice. No. Two would be nice here, too. What if I hit six places? Out of turns. Let's see what we can buy. Actually, I got a lot of 2,000. Uh, I'm going to save it for now. Tavern Troublemaker. Let's see, what is a Tavern Troublemaker? Recently earned. 5,000 Notoriety. And it looks like I've played Kino, Slot Machines, and a Scratch Board five times. But I've played Serumopoly five times, too. Oh, well. Oh, there we go. Serumopoly Enthusiast. So, yeah, I would like to see... Like a new cult sep version, maybe using Serum, or just someone, if you have time, a new version of cult sep would be awesome. Or even just putting the old one on Steam. So let's see, if I go here, enemies refused, how about leper race? Not really worried about that. Less critical chance, I don't like. So let's go ahead, do a random realm. Azure Dream. Give him some power. Ooh, a decoration. Dragon. Pretty nice. I'll have to see what that's all about. Might be a banner. I always like unlocking new cosmetics. And they are right. This is definitely inhabited by a bunch of lepers. And apparently my guy was confused and attacked all of us. That's not how I want to start this battle. You're not confused, are you? Okay, you're not. Oh, I didn't show you off my new character yet. Right. So my new character, Creatures, it's just something for the Hell Knight, a Smog Fiend, which is a Berserker Fiend. This creature is always Berserk and deals 75% more damage when his buff is active, and I just went ahead and gave him another attack that Creatures attack deals 75% more damage and afflict Poisoned. Now, the only thing with him is, if I go speed-wise, he's... Well, he's not the slowest creature I have, but he is sort of slow. So eventually I want to get, like, a weapon or something to equip to him that will go and let him attack first or attack before the round begins, things like that. Because actually I had a really powerful fiend in Serum 3 that could pretty much wipe out enemies before the round even began. Because he could... We got an automatic attack, actually got two or three automatic attacks the way I had it set up. And then when he attacked, he also hit enemies, or attack other enemies. Some more creature parts there, excellent. So hopefully this video is recording. And it's not just sitting on the title screen. As I said, I really have no idea why it did that. And I can't reproduce the error anymore. Every time I try recording stuff, it works just fine. And it looked like it was working yesterday when I uploaded, so 
I don't know. It's one of the hazards of running a YouTube channel, I guess. And a hazard of running in my smog fiend that just took all those guys out. I wasn't even looking at the quest. I need to light a piety candle, but first I need to beat the Boulder Imbler. He's got some carbuncles with him. A mutated vampire bat. Oh, and also a really good ability spell I'll show you later is Panic Attack. I will show you later. Because I won that battle. I didn't think I was going to win so quick. So I need one of my Chaos creatures. I need everyone to be alive for this. Okay, so my Wicked Carver, instead of him just attacking, if I go and go to Panic Attack, each of your creatures attack a random enemy for 50% normal damage. This is a really useful spell if you're using a highly offensive party. So he takes him out. And because all their abilities also kind of go off too. So yeah, if you're doing a high offense party with lots of triggered abilities and stuff like that, I highly recommend Panic Attack. Even though you're only doing 50% damage, I'm going to hopefully modify that later on somehow. Ooh, I got new music too. Cyril and Two's Arachnid Nest. It's a pretty big day. And I completed my Purgatorium. I got, ran into a Sanctus Master. Sanctuses are a mixed bag, really. Each one brings something completely unique to battle, but one thing everyone can agree on is that they are some of the most useful creatures Rodia has to offer. But don't take my word for it. I'll let you judge them yourself. And they're all going to get to go first, which is usually not a good sign. attack here. Yeah, these guys are pretty strong. Okay, I was going to say, they're getting pretty strong against attacks, but... Okay, I also have chain lightning is off sometimes. See, all my stuff's proxy, which is really nice. Unfortunately... What is this guy's ability? Okay, it's something to do with the buffs. So it really doesn't affect. How high is this defense? Eh, it's not that high. He had reincarnation. Okay, so he's at. With panic. Okay, so with panic attack, we should be good. If you have six different Sanctuses in your party, they gain a random Sin trait and start a battle. This trait does not stack. Okay, fair enough. So I've done the Competent Hell Knight. I just got a new achievement. Master of Sanctuses. I suppose that's how you pronounce it. Oh, let's fight this boss. Maniac Builder. Now, even if I die, it's going to count as me completing this realm. Sometimes I kind of wish I could die, because you don't lose anything, and then I can keep the realm the same and keep challenging the masters. But I consider that kind of cheap, so I'm not going to do that. Doesn't mean I don't wish I could do it. Try to play fairly legitimately. Plus, you know, it's good to keep going higher and higher. Testing yourself, testing your party. 
And I like in this game that I can actually go and buy experience levels for my characters, because that was one of my main issues with Serial Number 3 is I'd go and think up some new crazy creature or find some creature I wanted to add to my party, but they would be starting at the same level as my characters. There were some ways around it. You could bring all the enemies down to your lowest level, I think, but that wasn't much fun either. Or you could go and completely create a new party of six characters. I got, got a carver in here too. Oh, this is my party. I wasn't even paying attention. Because I'm like, that looks exactly like my terror or dead right. Wait, is it terror right or dead right? Terror right. I was like, is it also? And it was. Wish for glory! White unicorns here. Horns can be frustrating to fight because they keep reviving. Not when I kill them all at once. Not when you kill them all at once. Ooh, another treasure chest. It's hardly worth going down there, but. Yeah, give me some wealth. Bundle of crystal, okay. 400 crystal. I've done better. It's down here. And strength. My creature start with agile. like I did that on purpose at all, but sometimes things just really work out in your favor. Enemies will set off a loop, and they'll do something just like that, where they take themselves out. Ooh, let's see. Gorgon Sorceress! Chaos Sorcery, I can do that. Usually when I'm not recording, I will look those up on my phone. I will admit that one. Unless it's something like super easy, like they'll say something such as death blow or something like that. And be like, oh, this is part of the death realm. Okay, did I pass the tower? Let me look. Honestly, don't see it. Hmm. So I need to go down to the right. That seems to be an area I have not looked at too much. Chest, just granite. Not really worth it, but. There we go. There is the exit. Make sure there's nothing else here I really need. Ooh, another boss. 
been having good luck on my pulls from bosses today. Can it be? Oh, it's this guy. This guy wrecked me. I think he goes and kills his entire party. Start this creature's turn, your other creatures gains, uh, kills your other creatures and gains 30% of their stats. So I really don't want these other creatures alive. Panic attack. There we go, okay. Now, last time I fought him, he actually, I don't remember, but he got an attack, he got a turn, and he killed most of his other party, and then he really did a number on me. We can summon this creature. Sweet. Surprise, there's not an achievement for that, but I'm alright with it. Well, now I am glad... projects to turn in. Let's see what we got here. So I can now have a Purgatorian. And project completed Relinquary. This allows you to unlock and upgrade relics of the gods. You can attune these relics to your creature to grant them a powerful new ability. A creature can be attuned to one relic at a time. In order to unlock and upgrade your relics, you must acquire a new type of currency called Piety, which can be unlocked in a variety of different ways. Most common way, however, is by completing prophecies, which I can now fulfill. Prophecies are a series of short tasks that you complete to turn in at the Relinquary to earn piety. I got a thousand automatically. Now let's go here. Enjoy my reward. So I got piety, so I'm glad I waited. Got a new floor tile. Sweet, and now, got an achievement unlocked in-game, becoming a Purgatorian. And now I need to have the Necromancer, so I'm probably going to have to respec my party now in order to fill this up again. I could spend 5,000 Essence to change what is in there, but if I go to Currency, yes, I got a lot of Essence, but it doubles in price each time if I don't get what I want. See. And I kind of want to try out Necromancer, so next time we play, I'll probably be trying out Necromancer. But let us, before I do that, decoration mode. Add decoration. Okay, so we got a little banner dragon. Guess I'll put that around here. Be the dragon clan for now. Got my relinquary. I know I'm mispronouncing that. Uh, I don't know where I want it for right now. Just put it right here for now. Tome of Credits. Okay, I'm going to reorganize some of this stuff, but we're going to look at it before the game ends. And then I want to hear the music. Set music. And go back to boss theme from Serial of One. Exit my decoration mode. I don't know if I like those banners all over the place. I might have to change that. So, Tomb of Credits. I kind of see the credits for the game. That's pretty cool. Trade, design, decoration. And... I'm trying to 
because you've seen my name in this. I see a wins. I might have misfilled out my form. Not 100% sure. I'll have to look at it some more. I might just be missing where I am. No big deal. Let's check out the relinquary. Prophecies. Okay, I haven't completed any yet. Choose a relic to unlock. I want to look at this a little more. Prophecies! Complete assassination missions. Better stat material. Play Kino. At least I got that one for free. More lines I complete, the better my rewards. Okay. A little extra missions here. Cool. So with that, we are going to put up for today. I hope you look or enjoyed this quick look at Serlum Ultimate, my new creature, playing some of the mini games, unlocking a bunch of stuff, which I didn't even intend to do. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel so you'll be updated whenever I update the channel. And I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day.